Hello, <clears throat> welcome to Spring Commander Forge Lines Forever. So, people kind of enjoy some POV, so I've been recording my ladder games, and this is one of them. So, the commentary is done after the fact, if you hadn't noticed. And that is to prevent me from playing like ass which I have been doing anyway recently so this is a game against mountain um, and we're on open palms so What am I doing here? I'm trying to get these two tree groups right here. So there's <laughs> there's two tree groups. And very nice to get them. Uh, I managed to get them that time. To be very precise where you click. <laughs> it's, really it doesn't make a huge difference, but every little helps. And I'm not walking to the Hydro with my ACU. But I felt like I... I used to feel very comfortable on this map, but... Now I feel like I just... Generally lose. So I went back to an old build order. Where you build the air factory in the base. With the ACU and you don't move to the Hydro. That's what I used to do, so... I thought I'd just go back to that. For a change. Picking all these groups of rocks. There's some groups of rocks which are lots of mass close together. My voice is a bit weird, I'm just kinda kinda sick at the moment. So this build is not, not going too well. You can see I have like a factory worth of mass. I'm blocking my en engineers and tanks. I haven't spent all my resource. My ACU is... Oh, I thought he was idle. No, it's on the move now. have some land scouts looking for labs, looking for tanks. Spotting for bombers. And I should probably, uh, I just need to build a bit faster here. I, sh I have a whole factory worth of mass more for for a while, but see if I wait and spend the 30 seconds for an AC to build it, my AC is going to be slow to the, to the side. It's going to be less mass in total, but I definitely should be spending that mass faster. Probably shouldn't walk from the hydro to the next to build the first factory. Probably build a couple there then go for the AJC afterwards. They just I'm losing time. Now I queue up the P gens. After the hydro you don't want to immediately start building P gens really you don't need it. You can see I haven't built any since the hydro. Because I built about five with my ACU in the base. And I'm just overflowing so too much too much power that's an unprotected engineer so i'm just gonna go straight for it i think i can kill it with one tank so i can send the other two tanks past i probably shouldn't target his indies here i'm trying to like micro but it's really hard to micro when their indie numbers are this low but uh not sure if it worked or if it helped. So I don't have many tanks at all here right now. Still have one factory worth of mass in the bank. Finally gonna get rid of that that mass. Adding a bit more build power to power production and uh, this is a nice fight for me. 
he's sending his tanks through mid. I actually, to be honest, I shouldn't have all my tanks there, but it works out for me. I mean, I was able to tell that he didn't have scouts moving to, or tanks moving to the bottom, to my left side, so I didn't really have to send many tanks there or any. So that's kind of why I had all those tanks in mid. Cause you can run through mid and then with intel, uh, you can sort of move from side to side, depending on where you can actually get through and stuff. You can see now he's blocked mid from me, so I have to go elsewhere. But that was a nice fight. I had like five or six tanks versus three. So I just uh, win favorably. Still adding more production. I'm now getting my, all my mexes. And I've sent my ACU to the top side. His ACU is just sprinting towards, <laughs> towards my expansion. And I think probably those orders for the ACU are not not very good. I should be trying to get the hydrocarbon where my ACU is and not be building two factories with the ACU there. It's not really worth it. Right now he seems to have just more tanks. So I'm gonna have to use air to do damage and I'm also stalling power. I think the initial air micro may have just helped me win air. Oh this is yeah, this is uh, painful. He has two... Two snoops. Back here. And... He's gonna kill that engineer. At the back of my base. Which is horrible for me. I should have finished the mechs. But I tried to go... Kill the snoop or reclaim it. Didn't work out. Oh, that's so sad. They have like two DPS, I believe. So now I've lost my bottom expansion. I've done damage to his right expansion and his bottom expansion, his left expansion. So it's not too bad. It's not too bad, but his AC is now coming from my base. And he has quite a few tanks in support. That was actually a. I accidentally gave a. A formation move order there when I was trying to kill some of his tanks as they were streaming out of mid but instead my tanks just retreated because of accidental formation move so now I'm kind of stuck his ACU just blocks blocks my path to the bottom side completely so now I'm sending my ACU back But I have no PD in the top expansion. I have no... Yeah. I'm just trying to hide behind the factories, basically, with my tanks and not let him kill kill my tanks. It's not really... It's just hard to know what to do here. Because really, with the position of his ACU, he can sort of kill everything on my left. And that's what he should be doing, really. But and now tanks have gotten to the right before the PD finished, so kind of triggered. But I still can see that he's missing a lot of mixes, so I think I've had more. I have more mass total than him. And you can see I have all these tanks spread out in different mixes. I'm using air scouts to. Uh, find the engineers and try and snipe them here on that that raid on the top I mean he, he should just wipe that entire expansion if he kills the kills the factory kills all the mechs he can kill everything there with the, the forces he has and I'm in a bad bad spot right now especially I mean if he had if he had killed that top expansion completely It'd be really bad but he just runs past and I still have a factory oh this is 
Sad. Now my ACU is here. Bring all the tanks out of my base. And only now he's killing my expansion. So overall, he was outplaying me there, but I but didn't take advantage of it. Now he's sending his air in, and I can see he has more air than me. His tanks on the bottom are just doing so much work. And now I should be building A, mixing A into my army. Maybe building a static turret in my base. I've still denied so many mexes. I should be able to speed this up, I believe. Oh yeah, it does work. So, just trying to regain my expansion. You can see the the factory being still alive here. It's amazing. It's just fantastic for me. But now I've lost all air and he's using bombers. I'm trying to build some engineers to get the reclaim. I'm going to retake this expansion. And... Yeah, that's right. I just lost... Just losing another engineer to two snoops. Just... What the hell? So bad. So, so bad. Here's an air scout getting bombed. <laughs> Couldn't save him. So these bombers that he has over my army actually just do a massive amount of damage. They got like six or seven kills each. And that really screwed me. I would have been able to do some good stuff with my ACU and that army, but the bombers just did so much damage that I'm just really on the back foot again. And now you can see I've lost a lot of mixes here. Still haven't got the back base. Well, I have two of the mixes there. Yeah, so I got some AA now. I know there's tanks at the back base, so I'm going to lose that. I realize walking into that is probably a suicide. And I still haven't scouted his, his main base, his core mixes, which is pretty terrible. And now I have a lot of mass. A lot of mass, so I should be upgrading mexes. I should have already been upgrading mexes. Adding more T1 factories isn't that good. What I should be doing is upgrading mexes and definitely making T2 land. And, uh,. Yeah, adding this air build part to uh, not get destroyed by air. I get a raid on the right, you can see his mechs is going down. That's just... He shouldn't allow that to happen, really. He has more tanks, you can see. So... 1700 mass in the bank is really bad. Now we're going T2 land. Finally, need to queue PP gens, assist the factories it's upgrading, get more engineers out for reclaim, and not die to this, this army on the bottom. So I killed all his mechs on the right again, somehow. I'm not dead. So... Uh, all I'm thinking is that I just have I have a lot of reclaim on my side right now. If I can hold on, then maybe I can use the reclaim. Let's see how much there is. So more engines in the base. You can see my T2 air, my T2 HQ is not being assisted at all, and that's a that's a bad mistake takes like almost two minutes to make a T2 HQ and I have mass I still have over 1k mass for such a long time and that's a problem P 
TD is going up to defend because I just don't have enough units. And I didn't do any mechs upgrades or anything. Which I definitely could have done. So I have a load of these T1 land factories assisted to the one factory. So you can do attack move orders from all those factories and then just build one or two engineers out of them to reclaim in a large area uh, with a few engineers. And uh, that's pretty useful. It's one of the reasons I use the the assist uh, assist factories to each other quite often is to make use of that. So still don't have T2 land, still not assisting my upgrade, it's pretty bad. Here you can see me doing the attack moves. And then I queue up an engineer or two out of those factories. Still raiding <laughs> Just very poor raids. I think I think Mountain is not using his units well here. And like he's letting me raid the bottom right side while he's doing quite far more inefficient raids. Like he's just kind of streaming in and allowing me to rebuild quite quickly. So like raiding T1 mechs is, is fine, but if, if your opponent can just instantly rebuild the T1 mechs, then I mean almost nothing is lost because T1 mechs are so cheap. That move order, I thought the uh, PD was still alive here, this PD, but it was actually dead. But uh, yeah, so now I'm going gun. I have quite a lot of power. A hydro help with that. I've been building a lot of T1 P gens. And I still don't have my back base, and that bothers me immensely. So I'm going gun. I'm assisting it. I kind of feel like I'm still in trouble. So what I should be doing here, I'm making the gun, that's pretty good. I should be, well one, I didn't notice for a while, but my T2HQ is making Lobos. Ugh, it's making Lobos. So I will eventually realize that. But I should be making um, less interceptors, for sure. Because you can see, he has no, he's not not contesting my air, I'm bombing him all over the place. He's barely reacting. So finally I realized my T2HQ is building Lobos. And I need to build a transport to get the bottom, or the, my, my back expansion. And I need to get all this reclaim. You can see there's so much dead T1 stuff. I'm going nano because I have I have resources for that. I have the power, and it's going to help my ACU a lot, increase its survivability a lot. I'm trying to do a raid here and wipe out this expansion. It's only some T1 stuff, and sort of shows me how much uh, T2 land he has. I very sloppily let those units pass. I didn't didn't even notice them. Pretty heavy mass or power stall, but I'm just uh, finishing up the nano upgrade. So I send that raid across, and there's just tons of tons of pillars there. So I feel like I'm pretty badly fucked. I should have been making um, support factories. Should have obviously been making fucking T2 units when I made the T2 HQ. And um, yeah, I should have been making support factories. Basically, as soon as you finish the T2 HQ, you should start making at least one support factory. Maybe you can get away with two. And uh, that's probably what uh, 
Anton is doing, again, I still haven't scouted his base, it's pretty bad. Now finally I get my back expansion. I know there's a lot of pillars on the bottom. There's also, I can see all these pillars on the top. Again, I don't think he really does the right kind of damage on the top. You can see him running past. He should be moving in, making sure the PD goes down, make sure the factory goes down, and just micring a bit to kill everything. First T2 max upgrade only comes now. We're at 17 minutes. Like, that's... It's too late. And I was watching his commander to make sure he doesn't uh, have a have an upgrade. So I'm feeling pretty good about my ACU. My ACU can just go <clears throat> do it at once. Have radar coverage. I just have to kill as many pillars as possible because I have so few units. It's pretty. It's pretty bad. I should be. I uh, should be out of this game right now. I'm still hoping, still still playing on, thinking that, uh, you know, hopefully he just feeds me, feeds me more mass, hopefully I can eventually get the reclaim. Start making some T2 air. Yeah, so not good. You can see the advantage of the T2 land. He switched at the right time, and I didn't. So, got a big advantage. I mean, you can see, I just can't defend my my expansion. Somehow I'm still doing damage on the right side. Don't ask me how. It's really, really unbelievable. Still making too many inties. I could probably stop making inties a long time ago and be still have air control. Kind of half think about going for the kill here. You see his the ACU in mid. And all the pillars are coming. But maybe I could have could have killed him there, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Commander under attack. So I should be Okay, now I switch from making T1 tanks and making more Lobos, I probably should just yeah, adding another sport factory. Getting more PDs, getting some T2 PDs on the right to try and defend. To punish him for the streaming units across and force him to be more careful. Build a TML in a bad spot, I think. I think it can't reach the four mexes. So I need to build it more more forward. So I'm really feel like I'm fucked at this stage. See oh, the amount of pillars on the top side, I mean it's like close to ten probably and I've nothing up there to defend. I have like less than twenty pillars total I think. Well, I do have a nano comp. Nano gun come. So I just decide, fuck it, we're just gonna push. See what we can do. And I have some gunships, so maybe I can snipe him as well. So I know I'm pretty sure he's been moving a lot, so he doesn't have an upgrade. And. 
this just gives me space to take my expansion back and try to get as much of the reclaim as possible while he's dealing with my my attack. I only have as you can see, I have like ten pillars. It's pretty pretty bad. A lot of lobos and strikers though. I'm just gonna try overcharge everything I can. So now I see he's sending everything over towards me. Sending a lot of pillars. Sending his ACU. And. Yeah, Mountain's not gonna wanna see this. Because he basically just. Oh, he, he just messes up. So all the pillars are coming for me, but I'm kind of confident that I can at least survive. I'm sending everything this way. And pillars, they're nice and all, but they don't have very much damage. So I'm pausing all my air stuff, pausing all my power production, because power production is heavy on power. <laughs> and I, so I can overcharge. And Mountain just completely fucks it, fortunately. So... Yeah, he's gonna be mad. I'm even surprised, I would... <laughs> if I lost like that, I would... I would never type GG. So, that's how to get outplayed and still win. Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately I don't have the most interesting games because I've been playing like ass. But uh, yeah, you can see there he actually had like very low low power waste there. Anyway, so he didn't have much E. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. And I mean, know if you like this, I'd. I, I can do a better job of it, I'm just kind of a bit ill, but I uh, thought I'd better get a video up anyway. So thanks for watching, keep playing Faf, check out Medicare's channel and Mephis and Mountains, see you next time.